Australia's Victoria State to launch a medical cannabis driving trial. Medical cannabis patients in the Australian state of Victoria may soon have the opportunity to participate in a cannabis trial to evaluate their ability to drive without impairment. The state's government introduced legislation into Parliament this week to develop an, and Im- implement a cannabis trial to assess the effects of consumption of medical cannabis on driving behavior. It's essential for legislators to understand the potential consequences of using THC while driving, as impaired driving could cause additional obstacles to the daily life of medical patients. Therefore, the Transport Legislation Amendment Bill of 2023 aims to alter the current situation, allowing medical cannabis patients to take part in the supervised closed-circuit trial under state government oversight. In a quote, this bill will allow us to deliver a world-leading research trial into medical cannabis and driving, enhancing our understanding of how medical cannabis affects driving behavior and informative informing future reform. Minister of the Roads and Road Safety Melissa Horn said in a press statement, the forthcoming trial will be managed by independent research organizations, which is yet to be selected. And this goes on a little bit more, but what do you guys think about this in the sake of time? I'm just going to leave it there, and if you want to read the whole article, you can find it on our website, www.hyatt9news.com. What do you guys think about this? This driving trials in Australia. You guys don't think nothing about it, huh? You guys there? I'm sorry for the phone call. I'm sorry. The phone call came oh, in. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, man. The drive, I mean, I don't know. You don't think Land this? I think under. this is great, bro. This is great news. They're going to, like, they're, you got Australia moving, moving faster than other countries right now in regards to re- realistic policy in regards with public safety and consuming cannabis while behind the wheel. I think what, what that um, that sounds what, cool, uh, but in Australia also, you can't have guns. Yeah, that part does worry me. I, I, I'm with you on that, but, I, I, but I'm just hoping that it's just going to be when, research. I'm hoping for the best on this one. And when they was giving out the I mean, French fry like, needle or the donut shot, they were taking people's kids from them and forcefully putting French fry needles inside their bodies in order to give them the donut shot. I'm just going to keep it a buck. You know, I, I, mean, I think that's good. That's that's good for Australia. We've done trials, though, yeah. you know. We've reported on trials yeah, yeah, yeah. here, and they've shown that people are a little more aware and more careful when they're when they consume cannabis while driving, and nobody listens. The people that that made legislation don't listen. So, yay Australia! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we've, we've been doing those here for a while. Yeah. All right. Whatever, guys. Like whatever. Jason. Whatever. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like they've been doing whatever these for. For years Whatever. here, it uh, um, was it like Maryland? Even just because um, you're driving, you even put out an ad. <clears throat> just because you're driving like, your car hey, while smoking hey, doesn't mean it's a trial. <laughs> I think that. <laughs> I drove. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if that's On the that case, note. legitimately, if that's the case, then all of New York City will be getting into a car crash right now, or at least 80% of the city will be in car crashes mm-hmm. right now. If smoking high really affected you in an adverse way, then like 70% of the people in Colorado would just because, and they and they have bad road conditions, especially because of the weather is so uh, stupid. Um, every day, everybody would crash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they would. Yeah, I, think, yeah, I think this whole like issue is just performative. Anyway, so. they just want to say stuff to say stuff, and they say they're working on stuff to to work on it. By the time these laws actually get passed, like everybody's gonna be in autonomous vehicles for the most part, anyways. So I don't think it will really matter. I think it's all like a waste of time. But um, 